Good morning, everybody. This is Wagner Welding. Currently bringing you a nice, hot, sweaty summer day. Although just 84 degrees, we are at 64% humidity, so it is a little bit sticky. But we're grateful and thankful nonetheless. It is especially hot today because we'll duck under the umbrella here. Cutting torch. So today we are working with the cutting torch only to cut out the entire long side of a shipping container. Check it out. I'm gonna slow it down and make it look longer than what it really is. I'm just kidding. Yeah, a lot of work to do today. So the company who owns the shipping container uses them for storage of all sorts of flooring and carpeting. They have some pallets back here where the entire lengthwise side of a shipping container was cut out. And this is where they store all of their stock. And we are going to duplicate this along the side here. Yeah, they want to store more stock inside of this side. And eventually the plan is, I don't know if you can see, from one in here all the way to one in here, eventually an awning or a roof will be built all the way across the top. We haven't decided if we're going to be doing that or not today. So as you can see, they have these containers packed to the gunnel. And they're needing a lot more space for all, everything else that they have out here. And that is all gonna go inside that container. The plan is to add some tubing, square tubing, behind these is a brace. Currently they have some galvanized tubing right here as supports. We're going to add some behind the ones over here. Another part of this project right here is to add a ramp that goes from the concrete ground here up to the shipping container here. Just a small ramp. I don't know if you can see, but there's a gap. And it makes it very difficult for the forklifts to drive up into the container to retrieve the pallets. So we plan to add a ramp that runs from one end all the way down to the other on this container. We gotta see inside the shipping container. Check this out. Fire! And there's the doors, and then there's the big new door. about to knock the second piece loose. Open sesame. And part three begins. This is a 
40 foot long shipping container. In total, about 150 feet worth of cutting torch. Yeah. <laughs> cutting the fourth piece out and then we're going to get the stick welding leaves out and we're going to weld a brace behind that okay so we're about to cut the fourth piece out we missed our mark on cutting it so we accidentally went down a little there add an extra five feet to the 155 feet worth of cutting we've had to do now That came down with a thud. We just cut the tubing for the braces. We're about to weld it in. Let's see how it turns out. Alrighty, we just finished welding the braces in. As you can see, way up and down. Stick welded them in. And we'll be back tomorrow for part two. Good morning, everybody. This is Wagner Welding. It's a beautiful, sunny day. We're back on the shipping container. Larry is starting to cut the fifth piece out of the 40-foot long side. absolutely insane how much tension is built up in the side of this. Every so often you just hear that pop and this like sound of thunder. It's almost unnerving. Pieces end up tearing free. It creates that thunder sound when they tear free. It's insane. He's heating up all the way down and you can see it bubbling through the paint. It's like magic. Just a few more to go, and then we'll be done. And we'll add the rest of the bracing behind these. We still gotta finish cutting these D-rings. We'll continue down that, and then we'll be done. Look at all the D-rings. And then the plan is to add I-beams running across. The customer wanted more support so they could add some other stock on top. Just like over there. Just a little extra support underneath so it can take the weight. That's next job. And then we will finish the ramp at the bottom. This one's warping from the heat. It's 
six piece is about to be cut free. came down nice and clean. That's the most epic yet. <laughs> Wagner Welding's tip for today. Take your striker. Throw it in the trash. This, these, these. Much, much easier for lighting your cutting torch. Last piece, and then we'll finish up racing. <laughs> that one kicked up a gust of wind. <laughs> Not bad. Last one. Yep, time to finish bracing it. Alrighty, we're done cutting up the side of the shipping container and we're finishing up the last brace to go in. So we got the Hobart hooked up to get started welding. Finish up wrapping up these. And then we will be done for today.
Cutting's all done, and now Candace is welding in the last of the braces. And we are all done. Cut the whole long side out of a 40 foot shipping container. Lots of cuts. So we are all done. Everything's cut out. Braces put in. All the way down, all the way through. Braces in all the way to the bottom. Very ground. Very ground the bottom and the sides, all the way to the top, all the way around. And we are done for the week. From start to end. Alrighty, that's a wrap for today and for the rest of the week for Wagner Welding. We will be returning probably next week or the week after uh, to put in the ramp as well as the I beams up above. So you all. Have a good rest of your week and a wonderful, peaceful weekend, and we will see you next time. Take care.